Um, hello, hi, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of uh, BioClick Context um, 84, Task Scheduler 2. So what the problem says is we get um, a list of tasks in this array, and we need to complete them in order. And each value in the array represents the, ith the type of the ith task, so the type here. And we get space, which represents how many days between two tasks of the same type. Um, so the minimum number of days that must pass after completing a task of some type before we can do another task of the same type. Um, and in each day, we can either complete one task from the next task from task, so we have to do them in order, or we can take a break. And we, ca we take a break in order to be able to take the next tasks so that we can fulfill the requirement that the space between two tasks of the same type needs to be equal to space. Um, and then we need to return the minimum number of days to complete all of the tasks. So if we take a look at the example we have here, we have space equal to three. So day one, we complete the first task, so the one at position zero here. Um, the second day, we complete this one. The third day, we are looking at one. Can we complete one? Well, we, we already did one, but the space needs to be equal to three. But right now, we already only did one day. There is only one day space, so we need to do two more. Uh, and we can't do the task until those two more uh, days are go by, and so we need to take a break during those two days. So that's why the space here is three, okay? Um, and then, so we take this one, and then we keep going for two, also, we already did two here, so we need uh, three days to expire. So that's why um, So that's why we do it on the sixth day, right? So this would be something like this. This is three, so we can do it in the sixth day. Um, and we can do the same uh, for the rest of the array. And overall, we'll end up with nine days. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve it. So this is the example we have with the tasks. Now, one thing you know to, to note here is the main problem is for days that have the t a type that we already did, right? But otherwise, for we start out with day one, and then we just increase by one each time. And then day two, except when there is a task that we did before, let's say the one here, okay? then the space between it need to be three. So here we can do it in day three, right? We have we have to do it in day, the difference needs to be uh, the last day, right? So day one plus the space three. Right, so that will be um, day four, but we actually, the space needs to be, so we have the day here, we need to have space of three days, one, two, three, and then we can do it. So it's actually plus one. So we need to do it in day five, okay? So what does this value amount to? So it's the last day of the same task of t plus space plus one. That's the day where we can do it. So what this tells you is that we need to have a map that records the last day of a type that we encountered, right? So we need to have a map, last day, where it's basically last day uh, task T has been completed. Okay, and now we can just get that last day T plus space plus one. Okay, now one thing that will make the implementation easier is that it's either this or last day plus one, or uh, the current, the previous day that we had, the, did the previous task four plus one, okay? Whichever one is greater, that's one we need to take because if we did the previous task in day three, we can't do the, the next, we have to do the next task at least on day four. But sometimes, if space has not expired yet, we need to add that space and then do it maybe in day six or day seven, right? And so what we need is actually just the max between these two. And that would be the new, the current day we will do the task at, right? 
Now, the only thing remaining is what about the case where there is no last day, right? We haven't, we haven't yet d did the task, let's say, for example, for day one case. We just need a high enough value so that, or like a small enough value so that this will always be the minimum, right? So that we pick day plus two. And we can start with d equal to zero so that for the first task, we do it in day one because we will do d plus one. So w how do we do that? Well, we could just make last day be infinity, negative infinity, right? And no matter what you add here, that will be smaller than a day that is has a positive value, right? If the last day was not, there is no previous last day, so there is no task of the same type um, before this one, right? So that's pretty much it. So the formula we need to do for each task, we can do uh, task T at the max of, this is just the counter of the current day, essentially. And the last day at position for the same task, plus space, plus one. And so we can just update D because remember, this is the current D we are doing the task at. So we update it. And then at the end, once we are done, we can just return the, the value here because this would be the day at which we did the last task. And that's how many days overall it will take, right? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We need a hash map and then we can take the max um, and that will give us the right solution. So let's implement this and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so let's implement this solution. So what we said is we need a last day map and we need it to be initialized to a default value that is small enough that any other val positive value will be bigger than it. So what we can do in Python to get a default, we can just have default with minus infinity. If you if you are doing it in another language, you, you can just check if there is no task in the in the map, then we can just replace it with that value minus infinity. And now we need to start with d equal to zero, the current day, and that's what we will return, d. And then we go through the tasks. And as we said, the, the day we will do the task is either the next day from the previous task or the last day for the same type plus space plus one. So whichever is bigger, that's the one we have to take. Um, and then at the end, we need to store the last day uh, and update the last day for this type of task. So actually, let's make this clearer with type. Oh, type is not. Okay, just T. But the last for the same type of task, the last day is now the one for this task, so D. Um, and we fill this for the next occurrence. Let's say we have, we have one, two, one, two, two, one. So first we have last day stored as, as this one. But for this one, we need to store this one because it needs just space of three between it and this one, right? So that's the idea here. Um, and now we return it. Um, and that's pretty much it, so I'll run this. Um, collections, default dictionary, yep. Um, this should be last day. That's the map we are using here. Okay, let's submit. Okay, so that passes test cases. Um, now, in terms of time complexity, well, we are just doing one loop here, so this is O of n, n is the number of tasks. Um, and then, so this is time overall. And in terms of space, we are doing, uh, just using this map, right? And that's the only thing here, so O of n space. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for this problem. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.